Hello Facebook friends, Baxter Cribs here with you once again. A whole lot earlier earlier today than usual in my day job and I wanted to share with you just a moment or two some of the things that I do so that you may get to know me a little better and to see what we have going on. And I didn't bring my selfie stick with me so this is a little bit of a surprise spur of the moment but I still thought I'd share with you. And so we're shorthanded today have an abundance of work to do but I wanted to share with you what I do so let me turn my phone around here I had to jump in the truck which I do often and it's no big thing to me to change up to do that but anyway to go out and physically tote doors and moldings and stuff with you here you can see here's a truckload with molding down the side of it and we have some double doors on the back and we have some plywood and then we have a whole section of interior doors to go into this house over here that we've been already delivering sheetrock to and all the other items that it needs as well. And so I uh, have to hand tote all of these things here into there, stack them up neat so that the people who come to work can then do their work. And then also after that point, we'll come up to them to be able to finish up the job and so uh, in a few minutes I'll come back on and show you how I've got all this stuff stacked in the house and just a simple point is that whenever we are working for ourselves and I'm not working for myself on this but sometimes it happens when we work for ourselves as entrepreneurs marketers whatever it is that we might be doing sometimes you have to get out there and put away your manager clothes and do the actual physical work. One, it lets you know what's going on in the world. You have a hands-on touch and people feel good about that. And that's one of the reasons that I want to come to you with this here at this point to get, let you see more about the things that I do during the daytime. So I will see you again in probably 20 or 30 minutes. Thank you.